So, uh, hi everyone. Today is the end of the month of November. And as usual, we are going to do the festival of November. And for this month, we have chosen the theme of beauty in the beginning of the month, speaking about beauty. On Facebook page, if you are, uh, if you are a member of Facebook page at now, you have been reading a saying every morning about beauty. I have chosen a couple of them, the most uh, attractive, attractive for us to read them and to discuss uh, some of them. So uh, Laurel, I would, I would like to ask you uh, after I read this one, I, there will mm -hmm. be a couple of saying passing and could you please read whenever this, this slide is passing? Sure. So first of all, I wanted to highlight those sentences. Could you uh, go ahead and read them, Laurel, please? Sure. Peacemakers are beautiful people. Make beautiful friends in LP now. Come together as friends and see the beauty in every person. Share things as community beautifully. So this is it for today's Festival of Beauty. Here is the website for people who are not members yet. They can just register and benefit from all classes on LP now. This is the first saying, here we go. So you can write down or remember the one that is more appealing for yourself and then we can discuss it later. Here we go, the first one. Laurel? Beauty isn't about having a pretty face. It's about having a pretty mind, a pretty heart, and a pretty soul. We talk Thanks. a lot about that in my classes. Yes. Second one. To me, beauty is about being comfortable in your own skin. It's about knowing and accepting who you are. Yeah. The ideal of beauty is simplicity and tranquility. Yes. The sign of a beautiful person is that they always see beauty in others. Cool. Simplicity is the keynote of all true elegance. Beauty is not flawless. It shines even through your flaws. We're not perfect. We're beautiful. Yeah. Beauty and things exist in the mind which contemplates them. True. Sure. And of course, life is full of beauty. Let us live for the beauty of our own reality. Inner beauty should be the most important part of improving oneself. And that's by Priscilla Presley, who is Elvis Presley's wife. Yes, true. And of course, this is a very famous saying. Beauty is in the heart of the beholder. Actually, we usually say in the eyes of the beholder. Not but true. maybe it's in the heart, too. Who knows? <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, now it's your turn, Sabrina. You can say yeah. this one. Yes. Uh, yeah, this one is a special to my heart personally and to all Epinal members. Friendship. So these people you are watching, seeing this picture, they are peacemakers from Turkey. Not all of them are with us today. Some of them passed away, unfortunately. Speaking spe specifically about my friend Sally, who has been brutally murdered two months ago in Turkey. But still she has been, and she will always be a beautiful peacemaker. And I wish, her peace wherever she is in heaven hopefully and that's why i wanted to highlight friendship as the most beautiful aspect of beauty absolutely yes yeah but this is life so um now have you like which saying from what laurel has been reading uh, is the most appealing to your heart emra could you remember one of the sayings that we, uh, Laurel has read? Or which one do you think is really uh, or respond to your definition of beauty? Let's go back to them, page back through them so we can see them again. Mm -hmm. So there is this one, the first one. If you see one of them and you want to say something about it, we can stop and discuss it. I think this, that one is a good one to discuss. 
simplicity and tranquility? No, the one before that. Okay. Yes. What does it mean to be comfortable in your own skin? Yes, because no one is perfect. So as as long as what you are is ex you like what you are. So maybe someone else doesn't like what you are, but of course a third someone else will like. So we cannot please everyone. But as long as we are comfortable with who we are, in the skin we are, I think that's beautiful. We mm -hmm, will mm -hmm. feel beautiful. Yes, feeling comfortable. Um, the way I say it is comfortable. Um, and what you feel is, do I feel um, like I am the best that I can be? Or do I need to improve my health? Do I need to improve my fashion? Do I need to improve my hair or my skin or whatever it is, right? Even guys have this issue. And so I think for me, first of all, you have to accept who you are right now. You cannot dislike yourself. You have to like who you are, no matter what you look like. So I think that's the most important thing is to know and accept who you are at whatever stage of life you're in. Because if you don't start by accepting yourself, then you're not going to help yourself. That's true. So, that's what, you know, the tricky thing about it, when you start liking yourself, you will feel that around you, people you will feel it and see it. I don't know how, but that everyone likes you. But even if uh, people like you, but you don't like yourself, you will not see it. You will not sense it. Mm -hmm. so, do you think it has something to do with the law of attraction? I think that it has something to do with the law of attraction because if you see yourself beautiful, you will attract beauty to yourself and you will right. attract beautiful thought, beautiful right. environment. Yes. Right. And I do also believe that we surround ourselves with people that are like us. So if I'm around beautiful fake people, then I will act that way. If I'm around people that have their own beauty in a, in a certain way that other people may not think is beautiful, you know, they're beautiful souls, they're poets, they're artists, they're whatever, but I have a good time with them. I'm going to be much more comfortable and feel more loved and more accepted by them than anyone who is fake beauty. I hate fakeness. Yes. And the fashion world is often very fake. So, you know, you, you don't want to be around people that look beautiful, like the beautiful one in the club. You want to be the person that helps the other people that is beautiful in their own way, in their soul, and not just outwardly. Yes, as one of the sayings were on Facebook, those standards, international standards of beauty, they were created by people. It's not like something that we should necessarily identify to. Why? I mean, what's, why beauty is uh, defined as blue eyes and blonde and one meter 90? This is, yes. this is not to my eye, it isn't. And one day a person says to my friend that she was beautiful, but she was different and she was doubting herself. Then she said, what's beautiful about me? I, no one tell, told me this. And the other person goes, what she, he went, your ideas are beautiful. You, I like the way you think. And then at that moment she came to me and she said, is beauty also about ideas and I said of course it's all about it actually it was wrong what you were thinking it's not physical on physical only right and it's very true so if you can find something about yourself that you like yes. you like your quirkiness you like your you know some people wear big glasses some people wear ponytails some people wear you know whatever makes them feel good and you know if you have to wear glasses then feel comfortable in them if you have to wear you know uh high heels to be taller go ahead it's okay you know um you just have to feel you have to find a way that makes you feel beautiful that's so true that's that's Thank my two cents <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Laurel. If you uh, want to say something, Abu or Emra, go ahead. Otherwise, I would I would play a video. Uh, cool. And this in this video, people, international people, people from the world will be speaking and defining beauty. Yes, Emra, do you want to say something, Abu? Yes, I want to say something before you yes, play the sir. video. Uh, yes, uh, we all know, must know that uh, we didn't uh, create ourselves. We were created by God, so whenever we are black or white, we have to accept it 
and don't yep. try to copy something else who didn't create you you have to live your life or even don't care about what they say to you so feel confident about you and know that you are the best one and you will your life in a happier way that's awesome. true yes okay so let me go to the link when i say beauty what's the first word that comes to your mind oh how much do i know beauty uh, elegance came to my mind elegance on n'est pas forcément beau quand on est élégant, mais on dégage quelque chose qui est beaucoup plus important que d'être beau, c'est une attitude beautiful. Mm. So here we go, we will start. Colombian girls. When I see beauty, what's the first word that comes to your mind? Oh, how much do I know? Because beauty. Uh, elegance came to my mind. Elegance. On n'est pas forcément beau quand on est élégant, mais on dégage quelque chose qui est beaucoup plus important que d'être beau. C'est une attitude beautiful. Mm. Close to meeting, and I got no words, models. Pas interior. The environment. Why did you say environment? Uh, Some place different because he had too much hot. If you ask me, like, what's the sexy thing about a person? It's his or her intelligence. And then. Perché so, quando si dice bellezza, la prima cosa che mi viene in mente sono le donne. Qualunque cosa gira attorno alla bellezza della donna, praticamente. What makes a woman beautiful? Uh, per me, c'è quando on sa che è on est beau, che è joli, c'è quando on peut se sentire bien e che è estremamente naturel. Not forced, not like done up hair, makeup, fake boobs. Sì, sì. Sure. 我觉得语言的话应该是自然美最好，但是现在我觉得在中国吧，就越来越多的女孩开始整容，但是其实我个人感觉他们真人看上去，嗯，非常的假。Australians think of it in much the same way as Americans do. Yeah, women that are tall and yeah, flawless. A size six, heavy chested. Because <laughs> 中认为就是大眼睛浓眉毛和高鼻梁还有尖下巴会是一个很好看会会是一个很好看的女孩子的样子。我们每天都搞steroid，我抬着大衣，看到你个肥，我会立冬卡，会立立肥。In Colombia, desafortunadamente lo que tienes es una mujer bonita es que tenga unas tetas grandes y un culo grande. What makes a man consider beautiful? तो हिंदुस्तान में अगर आदमी को बोलो कि सुंदर है तो वो बहुत ओपेन हो जाते हैं वो शिवाने जो जो यू जी रो दा मोलाइ शिन यहो हन दो रन जो नेचुरल की सो गार्डन फैट इसे पर बस मन किले बो शाहनाशनशी knows how to tend to this uh, family and to the wife and knows how to talk to the people, to the society, gives charity. So, その人にやっぱりそのストーリーがあったり、その背景があることがあのでそれに向かって追求していってたりとかなんかそういう儚さがあったりっていうのがその人の美しさが合計に weil ich das so sehe, weil ich der Meinung bin, also Schönheit liegt immer im Auge des Betrachters and it's in the eye of the beholder and es kann halt einfach sein, ein Moment, ein schöner Augenblick, den man halt einfach, das war pure Schönheit oder aber auch natürlich die Äußerlichkeiten, aber die sind halt für jeden ja subjektiv und individuell. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To see more from the Around the World series, please click on the playlist. Don't forget to subscribe to Cut. And thanks again for watching. Cheers. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. So this was a video about what is beauty in the eye of people from all over the world. You have seen that people from were from everywhere, every ethnicity, every region, continent, country. Um, right after that, we continue. So,
what I would like to share with you is, um, give me a second, yes. What is the beauty? What? Uh, yes, we are beautiful. We see beauty. So we see beauty. Yes. So mm -hmm. be beautiful. See beauty everywhere. It's very important. Some people think that they know beauty, but you. We should, for <laughs> example, in the most dark moments of life, the most mm -hmm. difficult moments mm -hmm. of life. What just? Yeah. Uh, be beauty. What beauty? beauty? Yes. Beauty. We are beautiful. We see beauty. Beauty. What beauty? What is the beauty? In Be the yes. Language? What is the beauty? It's according. Every person defines beauty differently. Kazi, what is beauty for you? What is it to be beautiful? A uh, beauty can be defined as a, the defined as a, it is a kind of uh, we can say that lo love is divine. So beauty is a kind of divine for me. So beautiness or if I beautify anything, that will be a beauty, and uh, uh, it will be kind of anything like uh, a flower can be beauty, a mechanics can be beauty, a literature can be beauty. Electronics and electrical engineering can be beauty. Medical science can be beauty. Anything can be beauty. Okay. Whereas it, it depends on the persons and it, it depends on person to person, whereas he or she can beautify a, 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 a material to uh, one, uh, uh, one to another. So I think that it uh, depends to, uh, it depends to one, uh, one thing to another material and um, it beautifies to one matter to another material and i think that uh, the in this world now in this uh, now we are staying in this society everything now we are seeing surrounding us everything is beauty if we see the uh, the modern technology the modern science it is a kind of beauty if i read a book like uh, science fiction or if i read a book like a uh, mystery, mysterious book or thriller. I, I am a thriller, uh, like, or I am a very much uh, enthralled and I'm very much excited to like the thriller book. Then um, I, I read the poetry, novels, short stories, then uh, science fiction, and it is a beauty. So it can be beauty, reading book, reading habits, uh, intellectuality, everything can be beauty. So if I define the beauty in individually, uh, it will be not uh, in briefly, but if I define it, uh, if I define it uh, elaboratedly, then uh, beauty can be defined uh, defined in a very uh, broad, broad way, in a broad way. Thank you, Kazi. That was really meaningful what you said. This is all to say that beauty is, is in the eye of the beholder. You can see beauty according to what you find beautiful. Just me, I have a message for you before listening to a song. There is, there is a song that I have chosen to finish this meeting with, and the song is called Beautiful People, and it is sung by Ed Shreen. Uh, I think you know Ed Shreen, so we will try to listen to it. But before this, we can see beautiful when we are fine. We can see a woman when we say this is beautiful. We can see a tree and we say this is beauty. We can see sky and we say, but I want you to keep on faith and hope in the dark, difficult moments in your life. Like last time, I will tell you a story that one of the guides told me. He is Mojo from Spain. His mother was sick, very sick. She got sick because of COVID-19 and she was going to pass away. Like she was really, really bad. And he said to me, where is beauty in this? Like it was like the end of her life and my mother is dying. And in the same time, his uh, cousin and sister who were living somewhere else, not in Spain, in another country, they didn't speak to each other for five years. They were okay family, but they never spoke to each other. Only his brother was texting him from, from time to time. The sickness of his mother was the reason to do a WhatsApp group. Okay, so they did a WhatsApp group and they added all family from Australia, from Spain, from Algeria, from 
from all parts of the world where the family exists. And all the cousin and, and aunts and uncles, they came to this group to chat about the sick person or his mother. And he said to me, Sabrina, the beauty is that in the darkest moment when my mother was dying, the family came together again from everywhere in the world. And this person, because his awareness is high, he could see this act of bringing his family together as an act of beauty while his mother is dying. And I think that this is all of it a matter of raising awareness because a person who is in one dimension thinking uh, when your awareness graduates or, or, or goes to the third, fourth dimension, you can see beauty in the dark moments. And I hope that everyone here, me included, I hope we have the strength and the hope and the faith to see beauty when we are having difficult moments in our lives. Thank you for listening to